We saw in the previous video that the price, also called present value, of uh, the following IOU, IOU one dollar one year from now. is 1 over 1 plus r, where r is the interest rate. Next example I want to consider is the pricing of an IU promising to pay x dollars one year from now. The present value, PV stands for present value, of this promise can be thought of as just X IOUs for $1. So suppose there was an IOU promising to pay $10 a year from now. That's completely equivalent to 10 I use promising to pay one dollar a year from now. And we know what that value is, it's just ten times the value of an IOU, ten times this IOU's value, which is one over one plus r. So it follows that the the present value of an IOU promising to pay X dollars one year from now is gonna be Just x divided by 1 plus r. So that's the present value of an IU promising to pay something other than a dollar one year from now. Note that x could be a negative number, which means that it's not uh, IOU, it's you, know, you owe me. And that, uh, negative numbers turn out to be very useful in more complicated situations. How about IOU X dollars two years from now? This is not so easy to guess at. In other words, the present value is not so easy to guess at. To figure out what it is, I'll make a table. And then we'll impose the no regrets condition like we had, like we did before. So again, you either buy the IOU or you don't buy it. We have today, one year from now. And two years from now. If you buy the IOU, you pay P dollars today. Nothing happens one year from now. In two years from now, you get X dollars. If you don't buy the IOU, then we assume that you put P dollars in a bank. One year from now, your bank balance is P times 1 plus R. And let's figure out what happens two years from now. So in every year, at the end of every year, what happens is 
The bank takes the amount of money that you had on deposit at the beginning of the year and multiplies it by 1 plus r. So that's why one year from now, you started out with p, now you have p times 1 plus r. Two years from now, you started the year with this p times 1 plus r. And the bank pays you R of that, and so your balance uh, two years from now is the the amount of money you had at the start of that year, which is in brackets, P times 1 plus R, times 1 plus R, which is, of course, P times 1 plus R squared. If we apply no regrets, then this needs to be the same as this. So the consumers are indifferent between buying the IOU or not buying the IOU. Hence, the result if you buy the IOU, which is x, has to equal the result if you don't buy it, which is p times 1 plus r squared. So solving for p, We get p equals x divided by 1 plus r squared. So the x is this x. If the IOU were $1 two years from now, then the numerator of, the, of p, and p is the same as present value. I should probably write that down. So uh, the, the the value, the formula for present value has x in the numerator that comes from the x dollars in the IOU. And then the 2 in the numerator comes from the 2 years from now. So that if, for example, we had an IOU promising to pay one dollar three years from now its present value would be one over one plus r cubed so the number of years from now translates into the exponent of one plus r and the amount of money, if it's one dollar or two dollars or x dollars, corresponds to the numerator in the present value formula. Finally, what happens if you had a, a compound IOU? For example, IOU five dollars one year from now. negative three dollars two years from now and six dollars four years from now so if that's an IOU you could call it a compound IOU because there's several different flows of money. In fact, you could even graph it. So in the first year, you get 5. Second year, you lose 3. Three years from now, nothing happens. And four years from now, you get 6. So that's the pattern of the flows. And then the present value is going to be the sum of the present value of these individually. So it's going to be 5 divided by 1 plus r for the $5 dollars one year from now minus 3 divided by 1 plus r squared for the negative $3 two years from now 
plus 6 divided by 1 plus r to the fourth for the six dollars four years from now. So in this way you can calculate the present value of an arbitrarily complicated flow of money.